Good morning. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I thank you for joining me as we have our Advent countdown as we're in the month of December and I wanted us to talk about uh, the season of Christmas and I wanted to talk today a little bit about the signs of Christmas. Uh, the sign of Christmas is of course Jesus Christ. But before I start on that, I wanted to share with you this uh, funny that I like to do. And it's only Wednesday, happy hump day. Uh, I notice how you feel. I used the polar bear to, to kind of make us think about the cold weather this time of year, how it should be cold. And, you know, I want us to get in the mood for that cold weather. So I wanted to share this scripture with you today. And it's from Isaiah 7, verse 14. And it's one that you'll be familiar with during the season. We hear it often. It says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. You know, we know that name Emmanuel. We're very familiar with it, aren't we? It means God with us. Did you know that the name Emmanuel in the scripture only appears three times? Obviously, it appears in this Isaiah 7, 14 that I've shared with you today. It appears again in uh, Isaiah 8, uh, verse 8. And then we see it again in Matthew 1, verse 23. It occurs in Matthew 1, 23 when Jesus uh, is referencing uh, to Jesus. And it's actually the quotation from Isaiah 7, 14. So technically, it's in the Bible three times, but it's really twice. But the context of Isaiah 7, 14 was a major announcement by Isaiah. And it was from God through Isaiah. Judea was led by King Ahaz. And at the time, it was under attack. And so through Isaiah, God gave a promise that Ahaz, that the attack would fail. And, and it wanted he did this to demonstrate this certainty. So God gave the king a sign. He said a virgin would give birth to a son and she would call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. You know, often in the Hebrew culture, names conveyed a message. And in this case, in this message that God was giving to the Hebrew people through Isaiah, God was saying the child's name, Emmanuel, that he would be with his people in their trials and their tribulations. So we fast forward uh, seven centuries ahead to the birth of Christ. And we see that Jesus was born from a virgin. And we see this as the ultimate fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. Jesus becomes our certain sign that God is with us. So I just wanted to tell you during this time of year, sometimes we get depressed, we get discouraged, we get overwhelmed. Don't let the trials or tribulations or troubles tempt you into thinking that you're alone. The Hebrew people thought they were alone, so God used Isaiah to prophesy about Emmanuel. And this came true. God has given us a sign in his son that he is with us. I want you to understand God never promises to save us from adversity only to be with us in the midst of it and to guide us through it. Sometimes that adversity makes us stronger. So if you're going through troubled times right now, look around and look up because God doesn't cause those troubled times, but he's there with you and he'll lead you through them. And when you look around, you might see that God can turn that bad into good and use it to grow you, to strengthen you, and to prepare you for something that's coming down the road. I hope you have a great day, and I wanted to share and ask you to pray with me, if you would, before we depart. Almighty God, I just thank you for this season of Advent. I thank you for the prophecy that's fulfilled of Emmanuel God with us through the baby at Bethlehem. 
And Father, I thank you for the promise that you are with us through the Holy Spirit now and forever. I pray you will bless those that are watching this devotion, studying this scripture, receiving your word. Help us to use it to grow closer to you and to share the good news with the world. For this is the season that we have to share, especially Emmanuel, God with us. I pray in the name of Jesus, the gift you've given us. Amen. I pray that you have a great day. Hope to see you Sunday. Uh, can't be with us in person. You know you can stream YouTube and Facebook. Have a great day. Stay safe.